Well, I'm going to just narrate this video as it goes along. So I may just be stuttering and stammering. I call this rail fanning amongst the poppies because there are a lot of beautiful poppies along the uh, tracks here, almost like California poppies, except they're more red instead of gold. And when I first got to Cremona, the first thing that happened was this freight train was pulling out. Pulling alongside of him, heading back to Fidenza, is the train I came in from Fidenza on. And there's another train over on the other side pulling into one of the outer tracks here at Cremona. This is a train Nord, regional train pulling in with really, really nice, clean new cars that um, haven't had a chance to be modified yet by the locals. But I'm sure that eventually they'll spot this train someplace where um, the people who apply the decals will uh, be putting them on. There are several lines running in and out of Cremona that are not electrified and they do use diesel units and this unit coming toward us now is a brand spanking new unit. Um, I don't know who manufactures it but it has yet to be have any decals applied and um, you'll see them switching it back and forth for some reason and this won't be the only move that it's going to happen. They seem to saw back and forth here. Uh, this is the passenger car, car yard, so um, they do quite a bit of uh, passenger movements back and forth to get things on the right track. But as you can see, this is a brand new DMU. And in a minute, we'll see the units that they will be replacing. I think what's going on here is they're trying to find a good place to spot this uh, brand new unit so that the people who apply the decals can get to it uh, as efficiently as possible because they don't want this to go uh, untagged for very long. These are the older DMU units. They're about 40 years or more older. I believe they're built by Fiat, and um, they actually are not bad. I rode in a set uh, from Siena to uh, Florence last year, and they're quite comfortable, and 
operate quite well. The train uh, coming in right now is a really good example of what a good set of decals will uh, be like if applied properly to a train. As you can see, they're, they're quite nice. Uh, they really enhance the, uh, the very boring side of the train had they not been there. Here we have a Train Italia freight uh, heading through the number one track. I don't know if he's going through or going to one of the yards. There, there are a couple of yards here um, in the direction that he's going. And here's a set of uh, DMUs that are old but uh, have never had uh, the cal supplied, at least uh, not since they've been probably repainted numerous times. So they're kind of boring. And here comes another freight train. Now, the rails are owned by the National Railway of Italy, uh, Ferroviaria dello Stato, FS. And this says um, Compagnia Ferroviaria Italiana, but don't confuse that. That's not the National Railroad. That's a private railroad. The uh, National Railroad is uh, FS. So this is a private railroad running on um, the tracks and he's actually going down to a yard and we'll see him coming back light engine This is my friend Graziano, who lives near Brescia, and he came down from Brescia this morning, and I came up from Bologna, and we met here at Cremona. This is another private rail line coming through. Let's see what it says on the side here. It says uh, something services. Okay. European Gateway Services, so that's another one. That's kind of like living in uh, Sacramento and seeing CSX and Norfolk Southern actual trains instead of through power coming through. And here comes a light engine. I'm not sure if that this is that from that first freight that went by or if this is just another locomotive. I I don't recognize it.
Yeah, I think maybe it is off that first freight that went by. private railway. This is what? Uh, Nord Cargo. So what is that? The third or fourth one now that we've had. Uh, Train Italia, uh, company, Italian company, uh, European company, the Nord Cargo. Yeah, we have had four operating railroads come through. And there goes a train Italia in the other direction. That is the National Railway, train Italia. that uh, Italian uh, private engine coming back and they deposited his train down in the yard. I guess there's an engine facility down here where they're going to. And he does a saw back and forth here just like that DMU did. For some reason, they seem to have to uh, go back and forth to get on the right track to do whatever they're going to do. train needs a little work. It has some decals on it, but it could use a few more. Possibly they'll spot it later on today someplace where that can be uh, handled properly. Now this is going to be an interesting move. This train is going to pull in, going to pull down past the station. The engine is going to get off and run around the train and get on the other end. And he's going to go right back out in the direction he came in from, except he's going to go out a different line. So evidently there's no connecting track that he can keep going straight. He has to run around his train to go back out that line. So if I said anything incorrectly, I'm just a dumb American here in Italy. I don't know, really know much.
So there you have it. Rail fanning amongst the poppies in Cremona, Italy.